Okay, so today I am going to be doing a wintry kind of haul. I know I still wouldn't be doing any more beauty videos, but let's just let's just ignore that and pretend I never said that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to start off with is a book, and it is Girl Online by the lovely Zoe Sugg. Now, for those of you who know, I love reading. I am the hugest bookworm ever, and obviously I read this within a day. Actually, I read it in less than a day. It only took me a few hours. And it is so incredibly Good. One of my favourite things about this book is how her personality shines through throughout the whole thing. Like, yeah, you can clearly tell the characters are the characters and there's a clear distinction, but at the same time, there's pieces of Zoe throughout the whole thing. It is just a great book. Her writing style is amazing and I love how she picks up on things like panic attacks and stuff like that because I don't think I've ever read a book that actually does mention panic attacks. If you haven't read this yet, I definitely recommend you do. And look how pretty the cover is. I am in love with it. I am in love with the cover. I am in love with the way it feels. Yep, my inner bookworm is coming out. And it's just so pretty and great and lovely. Even if you don't like reading, I'd still recommend this because it's kind of really easy to get into. Okay, the second thing I got are some new shoes. I only own one pair of shoes at the moment and they are just a stupid pair of like I can't remember what they're called now. They're just a shoe pair of pimsoles, so I thought I need some winter shoes. So I got these beauties. These are from Primark. They were £18, which is expensive for Primark, but for the quality and how nice they are, I I think it's pretty good. My mum paid £10 towards these because she got my brother some shoes, so I only had to pay like 8 so I'm not going to complain too much. But they are just so beautiful. I've never actually owned a pair of boots like this before. So it's kind of scary for me to wear them. Because they're so different to what I'd normally wear. They lace up all the way to the top. And the top bit here is like fur. Really pretty shoes and I really like them. Yeah, Primark. Woo, gotta love Primark. <laughs> Going on to clothes. I only got two tops. Um, one of them being this one that I'm wearing. I can't hold it up right now because I'm wearing it, obviously. But it is just a crop top. I will show you in this cutaway thing. Woo. Yay for cutaways. Yay for really bad editing. I originally got a grey one of this. But then the size was too small. I got a size 14 it was too small. I think I wanted to cry. I took it back and I looked for another grey one. But there wasn't any size 16 greys. And I just didn't know what to do with my life. So instead I got this colour. The only reason I didn't get this colour originally was because half of my clothes are either black or this burgundy ready colour. Seriously, that is all I wear. If you know me, you'll be like, yep, yeah, that's all she ever wears. So I kind of wanted to step out of that and go for a different one. But, oh well, it's pretty and lovely and I love it lots. The second top I got is white and it has skulls on it. And some are black and some are glittery gold. And again, it's not something I normally wear because it's white and white and me don't go along well because I'm so pale but we're gonna go with it and you never know it might look okay if not I can just wear it to bed and then the class is pajamas because that's what I do with half the clothes that I don't wear next I got some socks these were from select I also got another pair but I can't show you because I'm wearing them and the other pair of dark blue with polka dots on them that are white obviously these are meant to be two pounds each but where this top was cheaper than the other one and I returned it, I only had to pay 98p for the two socks. These are like the ones that you can get from Topshop and you can get them from Primark as well. They're cheapest in Primark. These look a lot better quality than the Primark ones and the Topshop ones are just expensive. Going on to like beauty kind of stuff, I got some makeup remover. This was just a random one because I didn't have much money and it is a skin therapy one. It's okay, it's not the best makeup remover I've used but it's decent and it does the job so you know. I also got a Zoella Let's Glow candle. I did have this ages ago but the other one just kind of burnt out and just went all weird. So I got this one. Although tip, because apparently me and my friend Jess don't know this, this is a tin. So when it is hot, don't touch it because you will hurt yourself. Tins and flames don't aren't really the best match, I'm not gonna lie. But the candle smells so beautiful that I just have to just let it go. I I just sat here for like 10 minutes sniffing a candle. That's how you know you have problems. <laughs> From Primark I also got a packet of two face wipes. 
they were like a pound for a twin pack and they're pretty good wipes you know if you have any cheap facial wipes Primark Primark are the best place you know they're good they smell nice and they're ridiculously cheap so thank you Primark you are my life savior okay lastly I got a few DVDs Um, I actually got five but however I only have four of them with me now and the DVDs I got are Date Night this is one of my favorite films it's great it's like funny but it's kind of action-packed as well and it's also got romance in it so you know it's a great film I also got Knocked Up now this film is always on TV well I haven't seen it on a, in a while actually but it's on TV most of the time and I got it for like a pound from Poundland I'm not even kidding um oh <laughs> might have when it dropped the DVDs it has Seth Rogen in it and come on if a film has Seth Rogen in it that is all you need to know for you to buy it because Seth Rogen is just hilarious I also got everyone's favorite Christmas film Elf although apparently quite a few of my friends don't like this film and I just don't understand because it is a classic how can you not like Elf? It has Will Ferrell in it and it's hilarious I don't get how people can't like it it's such a great film this will just get you into the Christmassy mood you know it's the first Christmas film I'm gonna watch this is my favorite one of my favorite films ever I think I say that all the time and this is Nativity this is the first one by the way I saw the third one of this in cinema the other day and it was absolutely incredible um, um, I went like as soon as it came out because you know love these films this one has Martin Freeman in it I know the second one has David Tennant and the third one has I can't remember her name but she plays Donna in Doc 2 uh, what is her name what is her name why can't I remember her name I bet it's gonna come to me as soon as I finish this I don't care how old I am I don't care if this is a kids film it is a freaking great film okay honestly it's just it makes me so Christmassy and I will watch this in June I will watch this on Halloween if I have to because it's just so great I can't even pick a favorites out of the three films because they're all just so good and if you haven't seen them you you should don't worry about them being kids films just just don't worry anyway I hope you enjoyed this haul probably will do another one at like the end of the month because when I get Christmas money I will go get some stuff hopefully some Christmas themed stuff as well because my house is currently lacking Christmassy things like we haven't even got a tree up yet we haven't got any lights up we haven't got any kind of decorations and I it's just not acceptable it's the first of December well, when I'm filming it is, this is going up on the 2nd, but the 2nd of December, that's even worse. If you like this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Um, what can you comment? Comment, are you excited for Christmas? Because I want to know, like, are you in the Christmassy spirit or are you a Grinch? Just, just be honest, okay? It's okay if you're a Grinch, but I am judging you. And if you're in a Christmassy mood too, then let's just fangirl over Christmas together because I love Christmas. I also want to start making some Christmassy themed videos, but I, I don't have any Christmassy themed ideas. Like, I thought coming up with Halloween themed ideas was hard. Christmas is even worse. But if you are interested in seeing any Christmassy themed videos, then subscribe to my channel because there will be some coming up, no matter how hard long it takes me. Hard, long. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am tired. I'm gonna go. I hope you're all having a good day. Goodbye.